Hey, what's up everybody? David Wood here for David Wood FX with a quick follow-up request to my how to use a Craig MP3 slash MP4 player. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add lyric data to the player to display lyrics on the screen if your player is capable of that because the normal metadata that you can add to music files does not show up on them. You need a special uh, format called an LRC file and today I'll show you how to make that and the process involved in getting the lyrics to come up. So let's go ahead and get started. The uh, song that we're going to be uh, adding lyrics to is For You and Your Denial by Yellow Card from their new CD When You're Through Thinking Say Yes, which will be out in March. And this is the first single off of it, which was came out the 18th, and it's a really awesome song. And if you haven't heard it, I recommend it. I'll put a link below in the description. So first thing you want to do is find the lyrics to the song that you want and I've already gone ahead and done that and these are the lyrics for, for you and your denial <clears throat> and uh, the first thing you need to know is you need to know the code that your player will read in order to display the lyrics and this is pretty simple there are four main codes and the first three of those are just the song information about who sung it, what album it came from, and the song name itself. And uh, you put these codes inside of brackets. So like the title of the song, you put in a bracket, and you put in TI for title, colon, and then the name of the song, and then a closing bracket. The album is a bracket, AL for album, colon, the album name, and then a closing bracket. Artist is AR for artist, colon and then the name of the artist inside those brackets again. The final one time we'll discuss in a minute. So the first thing that I want to do is get this song data here which I'm just going to simply copy and paste and I am going to put this here and the title of the song is for you and your denial. <clears throat> the album. Going to add that above the song. And the album is when you're through thinking. Say yes. That's a very long title. Don't ask me why they picked one so long compared to their others, which are pretty short. And then the artist, yellow card. Alright, just like that. So the name of the art artist, the album that it came from, and the name of the song. Next thing that you want to understand is the time code. The time code is what your player will read to know when to put the lyrics up on the screen. And the time code is pretty simple. These first two zeros here, you want to put in the minute that it is in the song. The next two are for the seconds, and finally these last two are for the split seconds, which um, if you're really, really meticulous and want it to be very detailed and precise, you can go ahead and put that in. Um, however, I am not going to bother with that because I think that it's a little silly, because first of all, you're probably going to have most of the lines memorized anyway and it's second it's just really annoying to have to try and get all that so what you want to do is you want to take this time code and above each line you want to place that in there and then put in the time that that lyric will start playing so in this case you would put one above probably every other line just like so and so on and so forth and I'll get uh, all of this done and be back in a second okay now I went through and did about uh, half the song just because I don't want to do the whole thing there's no need for it and uh, now what you need to do is get the time code for it so that's pretty simple with uh, players such as media player because all you have to do is play the song and look at the time that it gives you
and then you just wait for the lyrics to come up. Like this song doesn't get actually started until let's see about 23 seconds into the song. So then we can come up here and take this one and put in 23. And then the next line starts at 28. So we'll come over here and put in 28. And uh, so on and so forth like that until you get the entire song done. Now, uh, some things like the chorus, which if the chorus is all the same, then you can put in two time codes one next to the other and put in the separate times that the chorus will show up. Instead of having to go through and do that for each of the chorus lines, you can just do one chorus line and it'll show up uh, however many times the chorus is. So, I'll finish this up and be back in a second again. Okay, here we are. I've done uh, half the song and it did have the repeating chorus. It just didn't look like it because I had added the time brackets and split it up. But uh, now you can see the chorus comes in, and there's two time codes, one here and one here. So this line, can you hear the crowd, they all go wild, comes in at 44 seconds, and then at 1 minute 41 seconds. And uh, that's it for this. Uh, that's all I'm going to do. The next thing that you need to do is uh, save the file. So go up to File, Save As. I'm going to put this on my desktop and in desktop you want to remove this save as type and choose all files because otherwise it will save it as a text file uh, put dot lrc at the end of it to save it as a lyric and make sure that you have this named exactly the same as the song because otherwise it won't show up so in this case it's o2 space for you and your denial just like the actual song which if I go under properties you can see it's right there for you in your denial and now place this in the exact same folder that the song is in on your mp3 player so I'm going to navigate to where my mp3 player is wrong folder and when you're through thinking say yes for you and your denial make sure that it's named the same hit save and once that is saved you are all set to go so now we'll jump on over to my video camera and I'll show you how to bring the lyrics up once you've got the file on your mp3 player what you want to do is bring up the song and if you'll notice down in the corner here this little green dot um, if it's red, that means there is no LRC uh, file, but if it's green, that means that it recognizes that it's there. So now we can begin playing and hold the menu button, and there are the lyrics. I don't have a clue why it's showing TH right there, but it is. And I don't have it exactly timed up, so it's a little fast. But that's how it works. But that is how it works, and it was a little bit off, but uh, you can play that to your setting. I don't know why it showed TH up in the corner there. Um, I'll keep looking. One thing to remember is the time codes, the time stamps, have to be on the same line of text as the lyrics. They can't be 
above the lyrics. They have to be on the same line, and there can't be a space right after them. So uh, there you go. I hope you found this useful. I'm David Wood, David Wood FX, and I'll see you next time.